This is a joke. Come on, you guys, who's doing that? Sarah, cut it out. I'm not pushing it. All right, riddle me this. If you want to talk to the demons and the demons are talking back to you, why are you acting like it's not happening? Or do you want it to happen? If you don't want it to happen, don't play with the board. If you do want it to happen, when it does happen, don't blame it on the people who are with you. God, this game sucks. I was a young boy that had big plans. Now I'm just another shitty old man. I don't have fun and I hate everything. The world owes me, so fuck you. Glory days don't mean shit to me. I drank a six pack of apathy. Lots of bitch and so am I. The world owes me, so fuck you. Hello and welcome to a new episode of John Sequitur. I am the John who is making the sequiturs, non-sequiturs. Non uh, today we're going to talk about something creepy, the Ouija, Ouija board. I always called it the Ouija board, but when you look at the word, it's, it's definitely not an E, so it's definitely not Ouija. I don't know why the fuck people call it that. What you do with this thing is you take this little thing, oop. Ooh, hello, little guy. We take this little planchette here, right? And we run it across these letters right here. Oh, Jesus Christ, am I prepared or what? You run it across there and you try to talk to demons. Now, that's not exactly what this thing was originally made for, but as we'll find out, I don't know what the fuck it was supposed to be made for. It was made in 1890, presented by a man named Elijah Bone. And it was used as a parlor game. It didn't have anything to do with the occult until some spiritualist named P Pearl Curran popularized it during World War I. Presumably to talk to, like, dead soldiers or something. I don't know. Next thing you know, you got people saying in the Catholic Church not to use it because of demonic possession. You got people who are occultists saying it's a good thing when you use it. And Parker Brothers, meanwhile, is like, shit, man. All we had to do was put the alphabet on a piece of fucking cardboard, put this little thing inside of it, and people are losing their fucking minds. This is the greatest marketing scheme of all time. This is such a fucking popular thing that I looked up online because I knew that the movie Ouija came out in 2014. By the way, one of the worst fucking movies I've ever seen in my life. There are like 200 titles matching that. That's insane. Some of them aren't necessarily called Ouija or Ouija or Squeegee or whatever the fuck. Some of them are Witchboard. There were nine Witchboard movies, which is fucking insane. So obviously people believe this shit because the movie Ouija in 2014 made a shit ton of money. And if you saw the trailer for that thing and you thought it was good based on what was in the trailer, whatever, man, have a good life. I used to have one, and I was a creepy kid, so when I bought it, I wanted the real fucking thing. I didn't want one of those glow-in-the-dark ones or shit, but nobody would sell them. I'm guessing because Walmart doesn't want to be associated with the occult. They would sell the glow-in-the-dark ones, but fuck that shit. So I went to a flea market to get one. Now, if all the rumors about these things are correct, that thing should have left my possession and then floated back to the flea market. Oh, God! We sold it and it came back. We can do this forever and get rich. Oh, that's a good idea. I've heard of people who have thrown them in the fires only to find their cats asleep on them the next day next to a pile of their fucking hairballs. These things are supposed to be haunted, but based on what? I have absolutely no idea. So let's look up a little bit of history on them, uh huh? So as part of the spiritualist movement, mediums began to employ various means of communication for the dead. Following the Civil War, mediums did significant business in presumably allowing survivors to contact lost relatives. The Ouija itself was created and named in Baltimore, but the use of talking boards was so common by 1886 that the news reported the phenomenon taking over the spiritual camps in Ohio. In other words, this isn't even the first one that was made. This is just like Parker Brothers cashing in on some shit. But again, Parker Brothers put this shit on, like, game shelves eventually. Like, obviously it's not meant to do anything. It's just like, ooh, yeah, these people use these boards and they think they fucking talk to demons. Now, again, I had one. I took it to a cemetery where I heard of lots of creepy shit happening. I went there and creepy shit happened. I bring the board there, nothing happens. 
not with the board, not with anything. Now I have a friend that I talked who told me that their family has used this board before. Stuff happened. But specifically the stuff was that it was spelling out a name that it spelled out over and over again. I'm not one to argue with this person. This person seems to be smarter than me even. So, um, wait a minute. I acted like that that's some sort of accomplishment. No, no, it's not hard to do that. I tend to lean towards them in that they may have experienced something with it. But my belief is that if you want this thing to work, it'll work. Now, is it because ghosts are controlling it? I would say it's more likely that it's because you want it to work, so you make it work. Even if it seems like an accident or that you're not doing it, you are, even if it's subconsciously. The only thing I could get the thing to ever spell out was a bunch of weird gibberish. Now, I'm guessing it's because I wanted it to move, so I moved it, but I didn't want it to move in any specific direction, so it spelled out garbage. Not the word garbage, or not like Shirley Manson garbage, just just letters. There is one thing about it that was kind of off-putting. I put it in the back of my car, and the transmission went out of my car. The windshield wipers fell off my fucking car. The power steering stopped working. The coolant stopped pumping to where it was supposed to go to, so the car overheated a bunch of times. Was it the Ouija board? Do ghosts really want to spend their time fucking around with people's shit just randomly? Probably, because any movie that you ever watch with fucking ghosts and demons, all they do is open up the fucking shelves and the doors and knock all the shit off the counters. They're fucking, like, wasting everybody's time. You have all of eternity, and what are you doing? You're fucking making messes and inconveniencing people. The people in Paranormal Activity were scared shitless because the fucking demon moved the door. Okay, eventually he did grab that woman and bite her, but... That was like 28 days into the fucking movie. Anyway, I'm off track, which means this show is going terrific. Um, this thing, if this whole shit thing works, then this planchette, which is just a smaller version of the real thing, and this board, which is, again, just a smaller version of the real thing, should be able to do what it's supposed to do. But I've had this motherfucker for like 25 years. I don't know why I have it, but it doesn't do shit. Do they work? If you want them to. That's it. Have a good night, everybody.